Meanwhile, stakeholders, representatives of international oil companies and representatives of host communities took time to express their reservations on the current practices in the industry are needing change. Now, many of them called for legislation on a wide variety of issues. It is vital, absolutely vital, that Nigeria provides a conducive business environment. There is an energy transition underway. It is important that we are positioned in Nigeria to manage that. We need globally competitive fiscal terms to ensure that investment makes its way to this country and to this hydrocarbon province. We also believe that the PIB represents a major opportunity for accelerating development of Nigeria's deep water gas resources and that such opportunities should not be missed. This is a package of fiscal incentives that we believe will encourage large-scale investments, which again may lead to accelerated industrialization, employment, and our best guarantee for government to have stable and long-term revenue for its vast deep water gas resources. Chevron recommends the PIB provide the Commission the latitude to co-develop with investors fit-for-purpose terms for small oil and non-associated gas fields in the deep water to enable bringing these fields onto production for the benefit of Nigeria. We appreciate the provision for separate bodies for the regulations of uh, the, mid, the upstream and uh, the midstream and downstream uh, Petroleum Administration. It is our view that this situation will assist in ensuring that no sector will be short change. We have human, we have capital, we also have the resources that the Nigerian government is on. We want to be carried along. I'm here to see the other company that is working in my place. Please help us let them to employ my sons and daughters so that I can have peace. We have agreement. Nigeria has an agreement international agreement that we are struggling to see how we can reduce emissions. But now in our law is contained that companies can be allowed to flag gas if the minister gives a permission. We see it now as criminal for anybody to give permission to any company to flag gas. It's criminal. And then but if any money has to be paid for that reason, then that money should be paid to the communities who actually suffer the audio of gas We are listening to all the robust presentations that we have made, and it is going to go a long way in guiding us as legislators in arriving at the PIB that will reflect the wishes and aspirations of not only the stakeholders but the generality. Let us be a shareholder in the industry that will guarantee security in our local communities that produce oil and gas. If they give us 10% shareholding on the oil operations, that equity will guarantee no one will spill any oil or vandalize any pipeline. But whatever thing that has got lost of it or missing, get out of the oil pipeline, communities will be missing as well. Their 10% is also draining. So the best to do, let them accept and agree on the 10% equity shareholding for the host community. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.